Hi everyone, Zilika here from Freak Properties and today I'm doing the third thing that I really love. So if you followed my other videos, you'll know that I love eating out, I love dogs and the third thing is I love coffee and as an agent it's the one thing that keeps us going during the day. So please subscribe to my channel for other tips and things to do in Langabon. So today I'll be featuring my top five coffee shops in Langabon in no specific order. And we start off today at the West Coast Coffee Roasters. And as the name says, they roast their own coffee. So let's go and take a look inside and see what they have to offer. So as you come in the door, you can smell this delicious aroma of the coffee being roasted here at the roastery. And this is a friendly bunch of guys. Say hello. How are you? <laughs> good, good, thanks. And uh, the West Coast Coffee Roasters offers a delicious uh, variety of cakes and um, fresh muffins on a daily basis. And obviously the coffee is awesome. So have a look inside. West Coast Coffee Roasters is uh, on the left hand side just past the Slay Street Circle as you go down towards the beach. So come and support Greg and his team. Right. So for my next stop I'm at um, a little secret here in Langabon and I'm at the Secret Garden and Tukatot No uh, gift shop. And they are situated here on the strip as you go down to the beach uh, between Huskies and the rooftop gin bar. So let's go and take a look inside. Inside in the gift shop, they've got beautiful gifts. Um, I love all the things that they've got there, so it's definitely uh, something to come and look, have a look at. Are we not going to the gin bar today? Okay, that's another series. Let's go through. So you can see they've got the beautiful gift shop in there and friendly stuff. Hi. <laughs> and then let's go through to the secret garden. Definitely a COVID friendly setting because there's lots of ventilation and lots of space in between and just look at this beautiful surroundings. The Secret Garden also features an amazing carrot cake. You have to try it. So at my next stop I'm here at Fuderia Cafe and if you're wanting that Paris type uh, sidewalk cafe feel then this is the place to come. So it's on the strip as you look down to the beach. So if you want to people watch, then this is really the place to be. You can see they've got some lovely tables outside. They also offer a mouth-watering selection of croissants and breakfast options and light meals as well. So if we just take a quick look inside. You can see that they've also got friendly staff and nice clean surroundings. So even though Fuderia has only been around for a few months, they're already making a name. They also serve the famous Vissenhof coffees. So for your next coffee stop, make Fuderia your choice. So for my second last stop today, I'm at Ginger Beans Cafe. Now Ginger Beans is one of the most well-known coffee shops in Langabon. They serve, yes, awesome coffee and everything else that they serve is also scrumptious. They've got delicious cakes and light meals uh, and etc. So you definitely need to come and try. So today we aren't in the courtyard yet in Mara Square. So if it's a windy day or if it's a rainy day, you can still come and stop and have your favorite coffee. Or if you like to people watch, you can definitely sit outside on the street. Street on the corner of Brea and Wolf Street on the Morris Square here in Langabon. You definitely should come and try it. So for my last stop I'm at the Wings Coffee 
Rose Street and they're slightly off the beaten track in Wolf Street in Langebaan and let's go and qu take a quick look inside. I wish you can smell the smell what I can smell in here. It's absolutely amazing. Take a look at this beautiful coffee shop. So please come and support the Wings Coffee Roastery for an amazing coffee here in Nanaba. So those were my top five coffee shops that I regularly visit in Langerbahn. If your business wasn't featured, don't worry, contact me and we'll be sure to include you in a next feature. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here so that you can get updated whenever there's a new video about things to do in Langerbahn and about moving to Langerbahn. Anyway, until our next meeting, take care. Bye.